Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new video. I haven't said that in about a year and a half. I'm making a video today, if you can guess by what the title says above my old mug, um, about McDonald's World Cup, Soccer World Cup, Football World Cup burgers. They've got three of them and I've got one, two, and three. So I'm going to be trying every single McDonald's Football World Cup burgers and my stomach just growled. So uh, let's get this video started. The first one is the Kokua Karabi Mac, which is the uh, 2002 one. So let's crack it open. Oh, this looks pretty decent. Can you guys see that? So uh, first things first, um, this one, as well as the other two, the buns are shaped um, like a football. You can see it's kind of basically got the pattern of a football on the top there, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, this one, looking at my notes, it has plenty of richness and umami marinated in McDonald's spicy sauce and juicy 100% beef patties. Without binders, a sandwich in buns that look like a soccer ball. The refreshing sweet lemon sauce and the crispy lettuce controlled at a low temperature from the factory to the store complement the two kinds of beef. So there's two kinds of beef in this one, basically. And now this is going to be it. Here we go. Look at this. Look at that. I'll crack it open. Just so you guys see what it looks like on the inside. Wow. Look at that. That's nuts. Mm. Wow, that's good. It goes really well together, actually. You'd think with two different types of beef, it might be a little bit overpowering. Um, you can taste one over the other, but I can taste both. Basically, if you like beef, you'll like this. If you like lots of beef, you'll like this. I'm going to take another bite because I don't know what else to say. Oh boy, that is good. Okay, so next up is the 2014 burger. And this one is called, I can see the katakana, so I'll try and read it. Wildo beef burger. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. The wild beef burger. Oh, and just down here it says onion ring and oh, cheese. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's easy to understand. See, you don't need to understand Japanese to understand what this says because I just explained it in English. Um, this is the wild beef burger, onion ring and cheese. The fragrant onion ring and the juicy thick 100% beef patty without a binder, a sandwich with original buns that resemble a soccer ball. It is a hearty dish that complements the taste of beef with five kinds of spicy sauce, such as garlic and chili pepper, and smoked thick cheddar cheese sauce. Hell yeah. Okay, so uh, here we go. Oh, and I do want to mention that this burger actually usually comes with bacon, but I don't eat uh, pork, so uh, I asked for that to be uh, taken out or not included when they made this. And yeah, so. Uh, but still, it's very hefty, even with a missing ingredient. Um, so I'll show you guys. Yeah, cheddar cheese, onion rings, another pretty hefty beef patty. I'll also just crack it open here so you guys can see the inside. Can you see that? Onion rings there. Doesn't look that appetizing, but uh, freaking smells great. Here we go. And then bite into this one. Ready, steady, go. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Can I see that? Oh. I got a bit of sauce in there as well. That's pretty zesty. Mm. 
That is delicious. Actually, that might be better than the one I had before. Okay, so last is the... I can't read that kanji. Oh, God, this is not good. Uh, the kebabu. I think this kanji for style. I don't know what the word is in Japanese, but let's say it's style. Kebabu style chicken burger. So it's the kebab style chicken burger. And uh, this one is celebrating the upcoming Qatar World Cup. Crispy chicken with a hearty breast meat and low temperature control crispy lettuce, fresh tom tomatoes, sliced onion, and white cheddar cheese. I sandwiched the Zinal Vans. What the hell is that? This is a really dodgy translation into, the, into English from the McDonald's Japan app. It is a dish that complements the taste of chicken and vegetables with a kebab style spicy sauce. That sounds delectable, so uh, let's crack it open. Wow, this is already a mess. I've just, I haven't even been into it yet. Holy, wow, this is substantial. All right. Look at this. That doesn't look appetizing at all, I don't think. But uh, yeah, wow. It looks like a fat burger. Fat tomato, fat chicken breast, fat buns. This is the only chicken one, actually. I'll see with beef. This is exclusively chicken. Uh, so here we go. Wow. Here we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's hot. Oh boy, that is that's pretty hot. That's really nice. Um, like the the sauce and like the vegetables, the whole layout of it all kind of screams like yeah, they say kebab style, so it, yeah, it screams kebab style to me. Yeah, I've had enough kebabs to know. So I think I've said this like multiple times with the other burgers too. It just works. This might be the best one. And I'm not being biased because I'm Arab. Uh, or I might I might be being biased because I'm Arab, but uh, this is really good. Damn, if this is, if the Qatar World Cup can be as good as this burger tastes, I think it'll be delicious or something. It'll be a success. So, uh, well, there you go. The campaign started from the 26th, I believe, October, and uh, it's going to be running into, into mid-November. So I think you've got another, from now, Probably two weeks. Um, so if you're in Japan, or you can somehow get these imported outside of Japan to your country, uh, then uh, definitely give it a go. So uh, thanks very much for watching me stuff my face, guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video, um, yeah, do leave me a like, leave me a comment. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks very much for watching.